Good morning, we are finishing up week three of our bulk and every third week of the month I do higher volume. So I wanted to take you guys through that workout. The reason why I do this is because my body's not necessarily used to training higher weight, lower repetition. So every third week I wanna kinda of give it a break and just do my normal workout of what I was previously used to, which is higher volume, less rest, less weight. So let's get into it. For reverse lunges, I have 15 lunges on each leg. Definitely go lighter. I never actually do these in socks and it's a little scary because I feel like I'm gonna slip. We're gonna add 10. Okay, we're gonna give ourselves a minute and a half. Still got 15 reps each side. The reason why I step back each time and kind of reset for myself is just because when I stay here and then I lunge down, I find that I start to transfer my weight behind me, whereas if I'm always resetting here, then the weight's always in my front leg. Remember to record your workouts, make sure you play that same trick. Last set, we got 15 still. For our first set, we're just gonna add tens. I know it sounds light for hip thrust, but truthfully, I'm very quad dominant, so glute movements, I typically do the lighter so that I can actually target my glutes rather than using my quads to compensate for the weight. Tap and go, hold. Oh my God. I think I definitely prefer my low volume, high weight days. This is absolute hell. We have three sets of 20. 20 reps of Romania deadlifts. That should be illegal. If I make this, then I no longer have to work out. We have three. so inappropriate so I'm in this one. We just have steady state cardio left 30 minutes. I usually go on an incline of five with a speed of 3.3 to 3.5. Okay, incredible workout. Now we're at Target. We're gonna go get some ingredients to make some high protein cinnamon rolls. protein cinnamon buns. We got our star of the show, the PE Science Select, the non-flavored multi-purpose protein powder, which I'm so excited to use. I actually have never used this. I never knew what it was until I went on their website and I saw all these different recipes. One of the recipes was protein cinnamon buns. So that's what we're gonna do today. Oven is preheating to 350. So we're gonna combine the multi-purpose select protein, baking soda, salt, yogurt, vanilla extract, and almond milk until dough is formed. This is literally the first thing I think I've ever baked in my life. So we'll see how it goes. 50 grams, we need 50 grams of this. Blam. We're gonna add now 50 grams of all-purpose flour. Okay, baking soda. Oh no, okay, ba baking powder. <laughs> Whew. With the ingredients, it says baking powder, and then the directions say baking soda. Okay, we're gonna call and help. Okay. There's a typo. The ingredient says half a teaspoon. <laughs> Listen, Shit. listen, the ingredients say half a teaspoon of baking powder and then the directions say combine all the ingredients with baking soda. So which one do you think it is? I just sent you the recipe so you can see what I'm talking about. Man, I hope they look like this. They look good, right? I know, I really want to make them right. There is no way you're putting baking soda in my, in my things. Okay, baking so you powder. think it's baking powder? Please, God. Well, this is why I called you. I don't know. It seems sounds baking like the same soda. thing to me. Do not ruin my food with baking soda. I'll die and throw up on you. We have confirmed it's baking powder. Ooh, that's good. Nice. One fourth teaspoon of salt. Blam. 120 grams of the yogurt. Okay. Vanilla extract. 
So we have unsweetened almond milk, two tablespoons. Okay, so now we have to combine it. Oh yeah. Oh, that still looks sticky. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. I'm gonna add a little bit of flour. Ooh, yeah. It says very specifically, roll out dough thinly until about five inches wide and 12 inches long. Five inches, not very long. 12 inches, oh, more my speed. We love a good 12 incher, but I don't know if we're gonna get there. So we're gonna have to settle for the five. Okay. Okay, why didn't I, I don't know why I didn't do this in the first place. Oh yeah. 12 inches, looks about right. Now roll it up. This looks nice. This is gonna make like three cinnamon rolls. We're gonna just try and stretch this out because five inches is not doing it for me. Now, this is stressing me out. So I'm gonna put away the stuff that we've already used because I feel like we didn't use hardly any of these ingredients. So I'm a little confused. But maybe if I organize everything. Okay, all it is for the icing is combine the powdered sugar and water until it creates a desired icing texture. Sounds simple to me. Hang on, can you, I'm almost done. Can you just hang out for a second? Shelby, I can't, dude. <laughs> I'm trying to look for Oh my god. Why gosh. don't you take a little break? You said no, you're not calling until 3.30. No, I'm calling now. <laughs> I don't get to cook all day. That's not my job. <laughs> okay. okay, well. Did you want to watch me cut it still, or? Uh, Look at that. Okay. That looks good. Why isn't it cinnamony in the middle? Well, we, I still have to do it. You're supposed to sprinkle it on top after you put it in there, apparently. I oh, in the in middle? The yes. I don't know. They didn't tell me to do that. Guys, she doesn't know what the <laughs> doing. You're going to be dry as shit. The end pieces look good, but this does just look like a bowl of dough, so. Circular baking pan. This is a not a baking pan, but. Oh my gosh, it did tell me to do that. Alexa says you could tell I was having a little bit of a day. So I wanna make these great for her. And I'm gonna re-roll these babies. I knew I was missing stuff, it didn't sound right, but I thought they meant sprinkle it on top. Mm -hmm. Brown sugar cinnamon. This is supposed to be powdered brown sugar, but I couldn't find that anywhere, so we're just doing regular brown sugar. That's a lot of sugar, I probably don't need that much. Okay, then you're also supposed to use sugar-free syrup. Ooh, this is messy. There we go, that looks more like it. Oh, she's gonna be so happy. Oh my gosh, now it does look like a cinnamon roll. Would you look at that? Three, four, and five. We got some space in here, but... Okay, so we already made the icing to perfection. So we are gonna place these in the oven for 18 to 20 minutes. She likes some doughy, so we're probably gonna do 16 and a half minutes. And then we'll look at the final product, see if I pass the test. Does it, is it good? A little too doughy, but okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> yay! Okay, all in all, actually pretty good. I definitely could have mixed the dough a little bit better because there's some chunks of like single ingredients, like salt and whatnot. So now I know for next time. But thank you as always, guys, for watching my vlog. I'm gonna go ahead and link the products I use down below as well as the recipe. Next week, I'm really excited because I'm gonna be filming at Equinox. So I hope you guys join me for that vlog and you guys have a wonderful week.